Welcome to Cameron Parish, Louisiana, just east of the Texas border. Our Gulf Trace project is in the process of building important infrastructure to support Chenier Energy, Sabine Pass, LNG, liquefaction, and export terminal that is helping transform the U.S. into an exporter of natural gas supplies. The Gulf Trace project is dedicated to the Chenier plant here in Johnson Bayou. We are delivering uh, 1.2 BCF billion cubic feet per day of gas, firm capacity to Chenier, and we expect to be in service first part of 2017 as well to meet their needs. To make that happen, we're installing seven miles of new 36-inch concrete coated pipe from the existing Transco pipeline system to the Sabine Pass liquefaction facility meter station. And this is not your traditional pipeline construction project. We're using the swamp push technique to push the pipe through the water-filled swamp that is the pipeline right-of-way for this project. Here we have a push rack where they're literally welding it up one at a time. They sack the pipe right there and they literally push it through an assembly process. Each 40,000 pound pipe joint goes through several welding stations, an x-ray, sandblasting and coating stations, all before heading into the swamp. Right before it drops off, they hook on floats and our trench is literally filled with water the entire length and we literally just pull it right down the right away one piece at a time as it's done. When we're ready for the pipe to go into place in the right-of-way ditch, we call them the divers. You have to have certified divers. They dive down. We have metal bands holding those floats into place. We literally go down under the water and cut the bands. That concrete on the pipe then helps keep it in place. This being in the swamp, you have to check for buoyancy. So if we didn't have the concrete on the pipe, the pipe would literally float. Even though we buried it, it would float out of the ground and pop up because of the water pressures. The project features two compressor stations. One of the two will be placed into service here at Transco Station 44 in Johnson Bayou, Louisiana. It'll go on top of that platform. But in order to see that compressor station right now, you'll have to go to Texas. Here in Channel View, Texas, we are prefabricating the compressor station at Solar's TurboFab facility. It will be put together here and then taken apart and delivered piece by piece to Station 44 in Louisiana. At the station, we don't have a lot of extra space to put the units, so we're staging the units here, shipping it to the site as we need it, and then we'll just bring in the next piece and then start interconnecting it. The station is going on a 20-foot platform to account for potential high tides created by hurricanes that can sometimes occur on the Gulf Coast. The surge level during a hurricane is expected to be roughly 16 feet, including wave action. So we wanted a little bit of buffer above that, and we chose an even 20 feet above natural ground to set that platform. Adding to the uniqueness of this project that features swamp push construction and provides key infrastructure in support of an LNG export facility. It's always cool when you do something you haven't done before and it's working out very well and being successful. 